I'm your commentator Robert Blanche and we're here at Elder Oval for this round 11 Capital One clash between Anneli FC and top of the table North Pine United. Anneli coach Russell Mapri will be hoping his side take last week's swarm into this game and look to knock off top of the table North Pine in their first home win of the season. Aaron Bilt will be happy where his side are at the moment, but will know this is a difficult assignment and his side will have to be at their best to get anything out of tonight's game. The officials for tonight's match are referee Jason Crow and his assistant referees Michael Macrodakis and Jean St Pierre. Corner swung in. Savage, which is the defensive header. Ball back in, back post down, and finally cleared away for another corner. Again, floated in close to the keeper. Sutherland comes, does well under pressure. Lincoln spreads it wide. Good touch on the far side. Pushes it in behind, gets across. Better try no! Can't direct his header on target. Let's have a look again. Free header. Should have done better and knows it. Lincoln. Again over the top. Better try though. First time balls a good one. Oh, play's gone down. Whistle's gone. It's a penalty. Let's have a look. Oh, hard to tell from there. Oh, possibly. Heath, oh, puts his shot wide. A let off for the home side. Ball forward. First time touches a good one, gets it back. They're in behind again. Slides it across, Messer across, just in the nick of time. Good ball. Good turn, ball roll forward, cut out easily. Heath gets around the first defender, gets his head up. Great ball for Fairgrave. He's in behind, slides it across, and a Chino! Unmarked at the far post, side puts in for a North Pine lead in the 32nd minute. Let's check the offside, nothing wrong there. Perfectly timed run. Fairgrave. First touch could have been better, doesn't make a difference, so drives it across, beats everyone except Batachoido at the far post. Clip forward, Lindsley, Klassen, running away from goal, keeps possession, clips it in, cleared away. Clennon forward, Tigba, inside. Lots of yellow shirts, they've dropped the ball. Forward it goes from Hunter. Once again, well oh, the cut inside has been a slip. Still going. Oh, Nekagawa! Good save, Sutherland. Ball forward. Carlton is cut out. Diagonal balls, a good one. No, oh, O'Brien, I should say, in behind, puts him one on one wide. Down the line. Great touch, Bear Green. Cuts across. Still going. Other side of the field. Gets his head up. Rolls it. Lincoln drives it across, and the bounce beats Batachoido at the far post. Corner swung in, bouncing around over the crossbar. Somehow it didn't go in the back of the net. Diagonal ball's a great one. Bear Graves touches good. Nakagawa with the first time ball. Bear Graves cuts back in. In oh, off the deflection. Nearly into the corner. Gary goes square. All oh, straight to Bear Graves turns. Round Messer, oh, lax power in the shot. Sutherland releases early. Lincoln, great ball. 
Numbers in the box. Delivered. Good touch, Messer. Fairgree. Shoots. Smith in behind. Pulls it across. Sutherland. Good hands. Well read. Ball forward. Well given straight away. Smith. South. Looking to get it back. Broken up. Messer. Inside one with Gary. Mowry. Still going. Steps past Lincoln. Gets it wide to O'Brien. Battle get there. Oh, goes down. Looks like he's done an ankle. O'Brien delivers. Classen unmarked. It's one all in the 86th minute. Oh, I think there's an injury. Yes, there is. But, oh, static defending. Mowry's ball's a good one. Bud just gets there ahead. Oh, ankle rolls. Could be serious. O'Brien, perfect ball. Classen. North Pine defenders ball watching. It's all even here. Sutherland goes long. All the boys from North Point get it mixed up. Maury still going. Rolls it. O'Brien. Oh, and Maori puts the close range effort over the bar. Sutherland. O'Brien, good touch. Gets a bit of luck. Still going, James O'Brien. Shoots. Good save, Harris. Rolls it back. Classen! Nicks it! In the 93rd minute, oh, the home side snatched the points at the very death. Let's have a look. Bit of luck for O'Brien to start with, and after that, it's all class. Gets there, shoots. It's a handy save from Harris, the only one he's had to make all night. Perfect ball. Perfect finish. Home side 2 1 up. Ball delivered. It's a scramble. Shots, blocks, 22 players just about in the box. Launched. And again, repelled by the alley defenders. And that's the final whistle. He sees his Capital One, Round 11 game, and Annerley FC 2, North Pine 1. Russell, an important victory for the club. Two in a row, a good result last week. Uh, again, at home, not been the results this season that you would have expected against the top flight side that's probably looking most like they're going up this stage of the season. A good, persistent, guts win. Last four minutes, two goals, a great result for the side. Yeah, well, we've been, as you know, we've been working on a system of play now for quite some time, and it's starting to all click in the last couple of weeks. We knew North Point, they're a quality team. There's no one better than them at the moment. And as you said, they do look like they're more than likely will go up. And for us, it was almost like six points for us today because that certainly puts us back in touch where we need to be. And as you said, a couple of wins in a row, and the systems are starting to work, and the boys are starting to believe, and, and patience seems to be the, the word that keeps getting thrown around, and we're, we're timing our subs a lot better and everything's starting to click into place. It's, unfortunately it's probably about six weeks too late but better late than never. I did mention to the North Pine coach Aaron that um, his keeper never made a save all night and you had basically two good chances, you took both chances and at the end of the day you can't really ask for much more from a coaching point of view. Their, their whole defensive line has been unbelievable all year. I think they're averaging half a goal a game. I mean you I've, I've said it to you before that uh, tax wins games but defence wins championships and that's why they're on top of the ladder and a team like Bayside in second on the ladder. Um, we knew we had to get two tonight. We knew that we were going to get very limited chances. So that's one thing we spoke about before the game and during the game. It was about building up the right amount of pressure, waiting for them to make an error, pouncing on the error and capitalising on it. Um, but as you said, you know the keeper didn't need to make too many saves tonight and um, luckily he didn't make the last two, I guess. We've made some changes at this club and we've we've had to upset a few people but then there's a lot of people who have backed us and and it's definitely shown in the last two weeks that we're, might, we're making the right decisions and all of a sudden the top team has an incredible amount of depth with four other city teams before that as well there's a plethora of, of teams of players that can step up at any stage and there's three boys that were out there tonight who a couple of weeks ago were playing city one league uh, you can't ask much more than that
Aaron, always a difficult trip out to Anley on a Friday night. A lot of players don't like playing straight after work. But for probably 89 to 90 per cent of the match, you had complete control. Mr. Penalty scored early. Basically, the last five minutes, you lost the game. I don't believe your keeper never made a save. Picked the ball at the back of the net twice. Must be disappointed. Oh, very disappointed. Um, just our structure, our discipline. Our discipline was probably the thing that let us down. Our, just our discipline in our, in our structure and our processes. Um, we've been good again probably for 86 minutes. We were excellent. We controlled the match totally, in my opinion. Um, but credit to them. They had a game plan. They stuck to it. And they, they walk away with three points. We walk away with nothing. So good luck to them. Made some changes near the end, late in the match, uh, to, to win it, to go on and, and seal the match. Brought on some firepower. From where I was sitting, midfield structure seemed to fall a bit away when that happened. And you stopped doing the, the simple things that you've been doing all game and controlling the match. Yeah, true. Um, I agree with you. We also made a change. We got a cup game Tuesday night, the quarterfinal. So bringing a few boys off, bring a few boys on, get them some game time. Um, we did bring attackers on to go and go and get another one, but still, d d just our discipline. It, that's what let us down. Big couple of games coming up, of course, local derbies, Rivers in the Cup Tuesday night, I think, and then Friday night again in the league. Big assignment could be a very, very important part of the season for North Pine in regards to um, getting promotion. Totally agree. Tonight would have been a big three points for us. Now we've got local derby Tuesday, local derby Friday. It's going to be tough. Rivers were excellent when we played them last time, and they're going to be excellent at, at their home ground. So we've got them ho at their home ground two games in a row. We're going to have to be a lot better than what we were tonight in, our, in the final third.